Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Wizard101 video. Today I got kind of a fun video for you guys because I was thinking back, probably during one of the live streams or something like that, and I was thinking back to when I started playing this game probably nine years ago, and I mean, I probably told the story, but I started nine years ago on my first account, and I've since moved on from that account, but that was when I knew like nothing about the game. And I made an account on that, got to like level 10, and then I stopped playing for a long time until I eventually made the Blaze Life Hammer, like the account that he's on and all that, those characters. But I wanted to look back at the beginning of the game and kind of think of some of the mistakes that I made when I first started playing. Maybe these mistakes will help other people to not make these same mistakes as they level their characters, or maybe you can just enjoy hearing about me fail in the beginning of playing the game because yeah I knew nothing about the game in the beginning just like everyone else so here's the couple of uh, well it's more than a couple but here's the list of some things that uh, I messed up on in the beginning of this game that I've definitely learned from but it's some mistakes that people can avoid and uh, for me it was just you know trial and error going through everything and uh, learning that yeah there's better ways to do things in this game so here we go I'm in the full noob gear because we're a noob today we're thinking back to uh probably not my storm character it probably i probably made these you know mistakes and uh all this on one of my original characters on the other the other account but you know what you get the idea we're on blaze storm hammer blaze noob hammer and uh we're gonna be going through so here we go first up not in any particular order but i'm just gonna start with how i made the list and let's run over to ravenwood because this first one is that you don't need to go into a secondary school when you start the game. Dang, it takes a long time if you don't have a mount. <laughs> I just realized that. You don't need to have a secondary school. I already made a whole video on this, and it even made the newsletter, and a lot of people like that video, because for some people, I don't know why, and even for the game itself, the tutorial tips tell you to go into a secondary school, but you don't need it. You don't need it. On one of my characters, I think I had a storm. I had a storm before this storm. I think on that character, it might have been, you know, remember I had that Flint Storm something? I forgot his name. I had like a Flint Storm character. Maybe it was on him. I don't remember. But on one of my Storm characters before this one, I had, uh, you know, full, I think I was like level maybe 15 or something. And I had all my good Storm spells in, but I also had all the good Myth spells that I could get at that point. So I was going Storm and Myth. And Myth was my secondary school. So I went into the Myth school. And I used up all my training points to train as many myth spells as I could. Which meant I probably had, you know, Blood Bat, Troll, Cyclops, all that. Here's the thing. You're never going to use Cyclops if you have... Th let's go let's just go look. You're never going to use Cyclops if you have three pips. If you're Storm. If you could just use uh, Storm or uh, Storm Shark. Like, there's no way. You're going to use the Shark. You're not going to use Cyclops. Plus, Shark is going to do way more damage. And it's just <laughs> it's going to not use your uh, your regular pips. And it's just better overall. I feel like you know that's something that I just couldn't understand. I thought you needed a secondary school because what if... Uh, I guess in my brain, I was like, what if I'm going up against someone who's Storm? How am I going to defeat him? I don't have Prisms yet, I don't think. I don't know when to get Prism. But maybe you do get Prism. I feel like you do get Prism kind of early, though, so it shouldn't matter. But I just thought that... You needed a secondary school. You needed to be Storm and something else. So that was my first mistake. You don't need that. We tell people all the time, don't go fully into a secondary school. Go for the spells that you want, and then that's it. Go for Faint. Go for Tower Shield. Go for Seder. Those are like the main ones that people go for. So that was my first mistake, and I know a lot of people make this mistake. Uh, the second one is save your training points. It's the same as the first one, kind of, but save your training points. You're never going to know what you, you might need them for, and... I made that mistake a lot. I just spent them on whatever I, I could find. I probably spent them on kind of the secret trainers. You know, like the secret trainer in uh, Colossus. I'm not going to run all the way over there. You guys know where it is. But the secret trainer, I probably went in there. And I'm like, yo, these are these are pretty cool spells. Let's just buy a couple. Just buy a lot of the disc spells at a low level. And then you're stuck. Yeah, you can't you can't afford to buy back the, the training points. And you're stuck. So don't make those mistakes. I feel like training points is the number one. I'm glad I started with this in this video because everyone, unless you, I don't know, already have made characters or maybe people have told you, I feel like people are going to mess up the training points because it's easy to mess up. 
If you buy one thing wrong, you, you can't get that train point back unless you spend crowns or wait for a membership uh, benefit. So pretty tough. Training points are a tough thing. And on this character, I just save them. See, I'm taking my own advice now, uh, learning from my mistakes and saving training points. I have 21 on my storm because I don't really need to use them. So just save them. You never know what you might uh, need to use your training points on later on. So that's what I did now. But before, I had no idea. I would spend them on whatever. So that's uh, that's one thing. All right, for the next one, we're going to go into Golem Tower because this is one. I don't know why it took me so long to realize this one, but thinking back, I'm like, you know, it makes sense because I don't remember the game ever telling you this. Maybe they do, but I just missed it. But the thing that I messed up on and I never knew was that you can discard your hand. You can discard whatever cards you want. And if I don't want this, you can just right click it and discard. I didn't know that. For the longest time, that was something that I remember having no idea how to do. Be unless maybe I accidentally clicked it and I realized, I was like, wait, you can actually discard stuff. But for the longest time, I thought that you had to use up all the cards in your hand in order to get new ones because once you use the card, then you can replace it with whatever. And I thought that for so long and thinking back, it's kind of embarrassing, but how would you know unless the game tells you or unless you have other people tell you, but that's one. The other one, is I never used TCs that I had. I just, I would just never put TCs in. I don't even think I knew what draw meant for the TCs. And I just, I just didn't do it. I like how I have a shadow pip <laughs> with noob gear. Okay. I just never did it. So I guess the tips for people is don't make those mistakes. Discard with right click and use your TCs because TCs are good. You can put in enchants. You can put in blades. That's like the easiest thing. Just put blades. If you have nothing else, just put blades in your TCs at low level and you're good. But that's something that I just never realized. And probably spent a lot of extra time in battles because I would have to use up the spells in my hand without discarding them. So that's one thing that I feel like maybe early, later on you'll definitely like figure that out. But early on, yeah, kind of bad. So the next one after that, that, oh, I wish I could like get these crowns back from these, uh, these purchases. But one of them that, uh, unfortunately I did was buying the mega snack pack. I would spend, I don't know how many crowns I actually spent on this total, but to train my pets, I would solely buy mega snack packs for 2,500, not even the sale. It wasn't even on sale. I would buy it for 2,500 crowns each. And you get seven snacks and then trade my pet. And yeah, that was that was probably a mistake. The other thing, I probably bought some of these pets too early on. Like now I buy them for the you know pet showcases and I'm fine with that. But early on when I would spend, I don't know, I probably bought a sea dragon. I'm guessing I probably bought a sea dragon for like, I don't know if I spent 12,000 on it. If I did, that's kind of sad too. But I would not buy these pets in the crown shop either because they're so expensive they're not worth it they're first gen and you can hatch to get it if you really want to as well so there's definitely better options out there especially now with the hatching kiosk you can just go in there and pick whatever pet you want you don't need a sea dragon unless you really like the sea dragon i used to have a sea dragon pet i thought it was really cute i named him fluffy you guys remember fluffy so just i guess an another one is just don't buy things that you really don't need in the crown shop because you're going to waste crowns eventually and it's going to be a bad purchase like these going to be a bad purchase. He doesn't even you're too close. I can't even buy these. I can't even buy 50,000 gold for 19,000 crowns. I can't do it. It doesn't want me. The game doesn't want me. No, this is probably I never bought this. I never bought any gold for crowns because that's probably the worst purchase you can ever make in your entire wizard career is to buy something like this. Even this a thousand gold for 800 crowns. I'm going to go with don't do it. So, like, I'm just trying to think, how would you ever, like, justify a purchase like this? There's no way. Even if you wanted mounts, because you can get mounts for gold. Even if you wanted a mount for gold, you could just, and you were willing to spend 19,000 crowns. Why wouldn't you just go ahead and buy literally any mount that you want in the crown shop? Buy this. This would help you so much more. Because 7,000 crowns is 50% speed. Probably one of the best mounts in the crown shop, so... Make smarter purchases on the crowns. Like that, that's something I would tell myself uh, early on. Don't buy the mega snack packs. That's bad. That's a big mistake. Because, yeah, you might not have any snack packs in the beginning, but you can get them. 
it's smarter to spend crowns on plants. See, I should have taken that 2,500 uh, crowns and spent it on gardening. I should have spent it on evil magma piece. I could have bought two of them. That would be way more worth it than buying the uh, mega snack pack. So those are some good tips for, uh, I mean, yeah, you have to rank up. I guess you couldn't buy the uh, evil magma piece right away. You'd be ranked four, but you could start with something else. You can start with something simpler or you can just plant whatever you have and uh, get going. I mean, you could key limes, you could, those are rank one. You can start with something simple, move your way up to get to EMPs and then wait for double garden if you're a member and you're good to go. So those are some things that I definitely uh, would have improved upon. And this kind of goes to the next one, which was I never used to use a mount. I had the 20% mounts. I probably use those a little bit. Uh, Zeke has mounts, by the way. If you really need a mount, you can spend a thousand gold uh, for Zeke or 1500 and get a one day amount for 20% if you really need one he has them Zeke's got you covered on that front for 20% extra speed but I used to just run around like this you know pretty pretty much exactly like this just running around to every place and uh no mount maybe I would use the seven day or the one day or whatever they give you but I should have been looking at spending or selling a lot of my stuff and then spending that gold on a mount in the crown shop. I should have just, just done that. But it's kind of hard to, to find the mounts that are for gold here. Because, I mean, you have to know where to look, right? So go ahead. I mean, 70k. It's kind of expensive. There's some cheaper ones, though. I think there's one. There's the uh, the Royal Lioness. Uh, that one's more. Never mind. That's more. Oh, my gosh. That's more expensive. <laughs> I don't know what the cheapest one is. What's the Black, the Black Panther one? Panther. Nope, you can't buy the Panther. So, I think the cheapest one is like 70k. I thought there was a cheaper one. But, guess not. Maybe the I thought there was like a 50k one. The Blue Dragon, 85k. Nope. Uh, the brooms. How much are the brooms? 50k. Here we go. This is what you want. You want the enchanted broom for 50k. Save up 50k gold. I believe in you. You can do it. And then buy that. And if you want to get spicy, you can go ahead and get the something more expensive. I wouldn't recommend this. But maybe the... I really like the uh, the Black Stallion. I think that's a cool one. 70k. So, save up for that. You know, don't go mountless because there's ways around it. You just need gold. And uh, to get gold, you just sell whatever you have at the bazaar. And you'll be good. You'll get gold eventually. And you can do it. So, that's a mistake I made too. I mean, just running around that amount. Even though you can go over to Zeke, buy a 20% mount for 1,000 gold. And save up eventually and get 50k for a broom. I remember my days on a broom. I remember my enchanted broom days. I don't think I have an enchanted broom on here anymore. But everyone remembers their enchanted broom days, right? We all had <laughs> we all had the enchanted broom. So that's another thing. Um, I guess this one is this one's also kind of embarrassing. But this one is uh, oh, this one is so yeah. But it's gonna be changed soon. This one, the thing I wish I knew and the mistake I made was that whatever hair color you make. In the beginning of the game is what you're stuck with for the whole game yes you can put a hairstyle on and change it which i have done but your noob gear your noob hair that you have is what you're stuck with if you want to wear a regular hat you're going to see your hair so for me maybe not making my hair blue on both my main characters would have been a smart decision but this is not something that's going to be permanent anymore because we're going to get the magic mirror and i'm excited for that so that's something that i wish i uh, would have changed is not made my characters super weird with both blue hair. I just like blue hair. I don't know. That was just younger me making both my characters with blue hair. So, yeah, that's something that I wish I wouldn't have done is made uh, both of them have that. But soon I will be able to correct that mistake. So that one we can cross off hopefully this summer. Uh, and the last one is you don't have to pick up every side quest. I did that on my storm and I have so many. I mean, I don't have so I have what three pages. That's not as bad. But other characters, I feel like I've done a worse job. Maybe you're one of the people that just picks up every side quest anyway, and you don't care. But I feel like if you kept doing that, it's bad. And I like my characters, like my fire and not my life. My, I feel like my life was, has a lot of quests too. But my fire did a good job of only grabbing the main quest and the sides that I need. You don't have to do every side quest. But if you do, then, and you want the XP, make sure you don't just leave it in your book forever. Because that's going to be... If you get every single side quest in every world and you never do them... You're going to have like 10 plus pages in your quest book. And it's going to be hard to find with the ones you want. The main quest is always going to be like right there. Like 
right here easy, but I don't have any main quests right now because I finished. But I would just recommend getting the sides that you know you need. And if you pick up a side for XP, then make sure you actually do it. So that was something that I knew that I just did a lot. Because I had no idea. I thought you just, they're quests. You know, you want to get all the quests, right? You want to get all the XP. And then you get lazy and you don't do it. And that's what happened. So there you have it. A quick look at my noob days of Wizard 101. Maybe you made the same mistakes. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you did a better job than me. Maybe you saved some crowns and saved your training points too. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Nevertheless, let me know what you guys thought of it. If you had the same kind of issues uh, as you learned the game. Because there's going to be a learning curve. And for me, you know, you're going to have to make some of those mistakes in order to get better. And uh, <laughs> we're better now. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you all next time.